Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Got a bit of a follow up video from the last one, um, this time regarding the engine specs. Give you a bit of a rundown on what's in it and how it was built. To start off with, it was gonna go in my dad's 1970 Capri, that's what it was built for. Um, things changed and he went a different way with that. So here it is in the banger. Um, now I'll start from the bottom up. Um, it's a pretty straightforward engine. It's got a bit of old technology in it, which is pretty interesting. Um, but apart from that, it's nothing crazy. Um, yeah, but we'll get started. So it's been held into the engine bay by a set of Castle Main Rod Shop engine mounts. They're really nice, tidy mount. Um, gives the car a nice shake when it's on. Uh, makes you really feel like you're in an old school V8, which is nice. Um, it's got a high energy sump in it, pretty standard sump, you can pick one up any performance shop. Um, it's just got some uh, windage trays in it and stuff like that. Um, now the block, like any built motor, it's been, um, it's been chemically cleaned, uh, honed, bored, all the standard stuff. Now the crankshaft, it has been indexed, machined and balanced. Um, it has also been cross drilled. Now the reason people cross drill cranks is to get 360 degree oil flow to the connecting rod main bearings. Now there's a bit of controversy on that, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll let you do your own research into that and decide whether you think it's a good idea or not. The connecting rods are six inch rods out of a 302 Cleveland. They have been x-rayed, crack tested, shot pinned and polished. Now all that is also old technology. Um, these days it's much easier just to go and buy off the shelf forged con rods. The reason that six inch rods were used in this engine over the standard 5.78 inch rods uh, is to keep the piston at top dead centre for longer. So on combustion, um, you're basically at top dead centre for longer, so you're using more of its downward force. It creates more mid and high end power. So with the longer rods, uh, you need to run a shorter piston. So in this is a set of Hyper Eutechnic pistons. I know that's a mouthful and you probably haven't heard that before. Um, it's basically in between a cast piston and a forged piston. It's um, sort of a middle ground and also a bit of old technology as well. The pistons run on total seal rings and the block has been o-ringed. It's got a pair of 2B cast iron heads on it, which is standard. Uh, they've had extensive port work though done to the inlet and exhaust ports. Uh, the exhaust ports is now 4V size. It's also got 4V size stainless valves. Um, the exhaust ports needed to be welded and grinded out to get to that 4V size. It's also got the exhaust port plates in there which are stopping a tumbling effect which occurs with the Cleveland 2V heads. It's got a big custom grind crow cam in it. Um, big lift, lobe separation. Uh, it's a solid roller, um, 3.8 push rods, roller rockers on pedestal mounts. They are yellow terra rockers, um, standard ratio. It's got a high rise active manifold on it. Pretty sure they were an Australian company, but have now stopped selling manifolds. Um, it's got a one inch spacer before a 780 CFM Pro Systems Carby from the States. Um, now that's an awesome carby, basically bolted on with minor tweaking and it was set up perfectly for the car. Now we gave them all the engine, cam specs, everything and it basically comes in a box ready to bolt on and go and um, we haven't had any issues with that yet and it seems to be really responsive and powerful. And to fire this baby, it's got a two-step ice ignition system. It's an awesome system. It's got a lower and an upper limit to set. Um, so the two-step sounds wicked. I'll link a video of the two-step working in the description. Sounds awesome. It's just out the back on concrete pad. It's not registered at the moment. So 
that's as best as I can give you, but it sounds awesome, so I'll let you check that out. And letting this engine breathe is a set of one and seven eight inch primary headers from Pacemaker. They contribute to giving this thing a sweet note. And that's about it, really. It's a pretty simple package, but it goes well. Yet to have it on the dyno, but as soon as I do, it'll be posted here straight away. Now, I've covered 90% of it. I'm sure there's a few little things that I've missed. Um, but if you want to know anything or ask any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully have a few other little videos coming soon and um, maybe a skid vid. So, I'll see you then.